you can have which. <laughs> Last week, I had made a statement here on the radio that if you are listening to the cutting edge at this moment, trust me, you are a wicked. <laughs> You know why I say that? Because the rapture come and gone and you still hear. I you know, say, if you never get raptured in the ear, it's pure wicked people left. And people say, no rapture never come. But guess what? When Jesus looked down here, he couldn't find one righteous person to take up to him, even with him. So everybody we left down here is in serious, serious judgment. People want to believe that no rapture never take place because them get up the next morning and see themselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, watch out, man. Them people are... Watch out. Let me tell you something, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm mean, serious when I say it, too, you know. I'm mean, very serious when I say it, you know. You know, I will leave people would claim that the man who came up with this mathematical, biblical calculation is stupid, mad, all sort of things. And they will go on further, just like the man last week from St. Thomas who called me and said, look here. Mota, that man is a madman, you know. He never read the Bible where the Bible say, no man know it the hour of the Lord. So oh, him coming now, come give date. Well, me attack this seriously, you know, you know. Me not joke with this. Me attack it seriously. From my ban, from my mother ban, from my granny ban, from my great, 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 great granny band, they have been told that there's a man who lived 2,000 years ago that is going to come back. And that man named Jesus Christ. Everybody grew up and believed this thing. Especially in the Western world. Most people in the Western world believe that there's a man who dead 2,000 years ago and raised from the dead. And him going to come back. Come save the righteous. Just like the man who said the world ago in Saturday gone. Now, the only difference I see with people who claim that this 2,000 year old man going to come back again and this man when named Campbell come from California this 89 year old man will say he mathematically calculated that Jesus Christ was coming on Saturday the only difference between the people them who claim say a man going to come back come save dirt and destroy the wicked is that this man give a date for it but his thinking is the same that there is a man that going to come back and save the righteous now i know see no difference between that one individual man who caused thousands of people to follow him through his evangelism and the people them over the 2,000 years that claim that a man going to come back and save the world. I don't see no difference. I don't see no difference. Because the man, the, 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 the man who wrote that thing in the Bible about no man know the hour of the Lord. Trust me, he is a very smart man. Very smart. Him not give you no timeline. Yet still, I read where those people who was living in those times, including Paul, 
the architect of Christianity, mm -hmm. these people actually believe that the man who they claim rose from the dead was going to come back in dear time. Now, if I want don't believe what I say now, go ask some big theologian and ask Mr. Bowen and ask one of them man there. The people them in the Bible, the architects, so-called architects of this thing called Christianity, believe that the man who them claim said dead upon a cross and was crucified, raised from the dead, they believe that he was coming back in dear lifetime. And after 2,000 years, him don't come back. And man has been predicting many, 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 many times that him coming back. I am here to tell the people them a lone voice in the wilderness that is saying, and I've repeated it many, 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 many times, and I'm going to repeat it again tonight because it's even more critical now than ever. Nobody named Jesus Christ nah come back come save nobody from no wickedness. There is nobody named Jesus Christ who lived 2,000 years ago going to come back and save nobody. And it is an illusion. And if you believe that you are deluding yourself, just like the man Saturday will tell the whole world, say, there's a man named Jesus Christ that going to come back 6 p.m. May the 22nd. Is craziness is a is a is, is a mentality that is 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 what we call it is it like it's like a bell what we call it the bell the bell tongue suspended and bang 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 and it will continue to be banging 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 and do nothing else but banging 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 there is nobody that is coming back after 2,000 years to save nobody. And that is the trick. That is the trick that these people write. Because, because these people, and me I defend the man when him, I can't blame him now, me I defend him, me I defend him. Because these people look in our book, and she say it say a man going come back, but nobody know the time when him going come back. Them feel say them have an upper hand over the man who say him going to come back on a specific time and date. But guess what? The two people them believe say the man going to come back, and that is the crooks of the illusion. That is the crooks of the delusion. That is the crooks of the madness. Because you don't feel like you're mad. Just like the brother where they on the television I say where him say. Him don't feel like saying mad with him say it. Him, the man who said him studied the Bible for 70 years. And him use mathematics, engineering mathematics for, for sure you say this thing why happen. Him don't believe say. Him living in an illusion. And I am guaranteeing you that a whole heap of people are listening to me right now. And I say, me a madman now. <laughs> because them in an illusion about a something that them come, come here. And that dead for 2,000 years. And the people them who write it are supposedly to have written it. Did believe say the man was going to come back in dear lifetime, and now it is written that forty percent of Americans who believe in Christianity believe said Jesus Christ going to come back in dear lifetime, and me have a surprise to tell them: no man, nah go come back to come put no judgment on you because. Death is the only judgment out of this life. After death, nothing else. 
after death, nothing else, and everyone away, especially black people. Especially black people can claim to have a judgment day every day of them life in this system here, this corrupted system here. Most black people in the world can claim to have had a judgment in them life when them get up every day and can't find food. When them get up every day and them can't send them picnic at school. When them get up every day and them hear police shot them picnic, shot them brother, shot them man. When them get up every day and can't pay Jamaica Public Service them light bill is a judgment. So the man who write that, for black people also, for come now, come and say, the man were wrong, the man did wrong, because fool fool him, fool fool, what him I put there, and Bible did done tell us, and no man know the hour. The man who write that, no, said no man know the hour, because him have you in, swinging in the ear, forever and ever. If you stay in that illusion, and that is what most people find themselves in in this Western world, a lot of people find themselves swinging in mid-year because them feel say them have a superior interpretation of a book that was written two thousand years ago from some people who declare a man going to come back, but yet still. Did feel said the man was going to come back in a dear time and them dead and the man no come back and them grand pe them, them them great future parents dead and don't come back up to this day the man who them did declare say I could come back two thousand years ago never come back so everybody have to interpret it in at the next time where them not going to live in a if you say the man going to come back he may go come back. He may go take the righteous and carry them go to heaven and kill all of the wicked. Oh, you know, said Jesus never come. The man, I am told that the man, I don't even know which one of them, them say apologize. Maybe the man who apologize is so wicked that Jesus Christ did come back and never take him. <laughs> It's a serious thing. You have to take laugh. You have to take the bad thing to make laugh in the rest of because the illusion is so deep. The illusion is so deep that all when me I say I so now so like me a madman. That people can get up all the day of them life. And believe, say a man with dead two thousand years ago where them claim to raise from the dead and come back, come save them. It's like them know why you appreciate this life where you live in. A, a pastor look at me one day and say, this is the only life to write, this wretched life. Imagine the life where you in. A, then if this is just a wretched life, what is the purpose of living? Then the whole we shall just commit suicide. We shall just go sit up in a, some chocolate and make the chocolate liquid down because there's a better life for us when we die. If there is this great supernatural god that the christians talk about why is he making people to live in this life why are we living in this life if dear if this is a wretched life is man and make it wretched is man corrupted art that is making this life wretched and man heart can be if there's such a word be uncorrupted by his ways that he live on this earth. So he must live better, to get a better life on earth. And if he continue to do what he's doing, is not no God going to come out of the sky and judgment him. Is he going to judgment himself? Because when we look on the earth today and we see all these things, when me a little boy, me never hear nothing about tsunami. I just said that day, me a hear about tsunami. Me a tell you the truth. When me a, 
when, when me na my teenager, when me na my twenties, when me, na, me never hear nothing about tsunami. I the first me I hear about tsunami I must say fifteen years ago, ten years ago. And me can't guarantee you that most of the people them who are listening to me right now never hear about tsunami twenty years ago, never. So which part tsunami come from? Some things we are going in the earth here right now. We are going to lead to look how we are going in a Japan. A earthquake come. I'm going to show you say it's one thing lead to the next. Because if you if 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 you really have sense and you look in at the Bible and you see them at all about the ten plagues where it Egypt. If you look on the chronology of the plague them, you will see that is one is the first plague lead to the second plague that lead to the tenth plague. It's not independent of the, the the plagues them is not independent of each other. There's a cause and effect that is happening. One thing lead to the next. The pollution of the river cause something else, and the something else cause the other thing. It is not independent of each other. And what happened in Japan? Look at what happened in Japan. An earthquake leaked Japan. <laughs> All right? Earthquake did leak. Um, what do you call it? 80. 300,000 people dead. After the earthquake leaked 80, what happened? Disease start to multiply. Lack of out, lack of sanitary this, lack of that. So the susceptibility of disease is much more in situations like this. But look what we're happening in Japan now. An earthquake leak. The earthquake caused the tsunami. The tsunami is not independent of the earthquake. It is because of the earthquake why the tsunami came. And when the tsunami came, guess what happened? Man. I would never know if it's not man create the earthquake need I know because man can create earthquake just like how man can cause rain to fall. Man, the tsunami come and it it against the nuclear power plants and the nuclear power plants start to leak and it leaked to the point where they gave out a warning in Japan that you should not drink the water because it seep into the ground and affect the vegetables them and affect the water system so them say don't drink the water them try them very best to cool it down spray water over it carry plain load of water to put over it and what happened now it start to seep in the atmosphere and we know say the effects of those nuclear waste will seep into your system slowly but surely and cause a mutation of the human species or a mutation of any life form that is in its way. And that life form can change because of the mutation can psychologically change in terms of behavioral pattern. What I am saying is this, that if there is going to be any destruction of the human species on earth, is the same human being that going to cause it is not no outer force and no supernatural being. Is man we have a poem I say, man create disturbance in the atmosphere with his chemical germs and his chemical warfare and then him want to blame it upon God and call it act of God. No, act of God nah happen. It's man. Man that destroy the ear, the ground, the, 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 the just life farm. He might destroy. And then I tell you about judgment there. And people actually I look for a little man like the man last week who called me. I look for a little man in the sky, stand up in a mid-year with trumpet players around him. I wonder if Dean Fraser with him saxophone or there. And people actually believe this thing to the core of them being. And Muta, where you get them full, full reason for you don't believe in the Bible. The Bible says it, so it can't wrong. 
And the man who said the earth will end Saturday, he never believes him did wrong. Until the day after, after 6 p.m. gone, when we when reach New Zealand, and he realizes 6 p.m. 6 p.m. gone and nothing happen. And he go down the line because trace them and trace it, you know. 6 p.m. do happen at the same time, the same place uh, everywhere. Because we work off at different time zones. So when it is 6 p.m. here, in Jamaica, it's 3 p.m. in California. And, and, and Australia is about 14 hours ahead of us. And England is about 5 to 6 hours ahead of us. So when it is 6 p.m. in England, it is 12 p.m. here or 1 p.m. here. So they might trace the whole thing. And when they might realize, well, a New Zealand force himself to get the lick. Because New Zealand, them say, say the, the time zone quicker, quicker. In, I mean, first in a New Zealand and moving to Australia and these places. And black people sit down here. And the person, as some know, say, me can't trust a person in a Jamaica at all. The person, them, capitalize off of the people, them, Jamaicans run to baptize before the rapture. Black people, only so fall, fall. The same people that we are reading the Bible, you know. The same people that we are reading the Bible get so fearful that they might run go baptize and the person open the church for baptize them, you know. Because the people them actually believe, say, if the person dip them in a water, it make a whole different to them aura. A foolishness. It's foolishness. Me, I said, non apologetically. Just like the person with city look on fits or whatsoever I'm in a, and take olive oil and a sprinkle round the people, them house that talk about the dopey must come in at him, the spirit, the evil spirit must come in at him. And people stand up there and see the person and do that. And really, not them out of heart believe, including him, believe there's some spirit in the place. To him put olive oil there, I got jump out of the youth and jump in at him. Black people only so fall. Person who open church and I have um, um, baptism for people because the people them fear. The people them is in fear. And them not read the Bible for sure. So boy, that not going to help them because the guy who said that, the guy in a California, the white guy who said that, say, you can't save yourself because your feet has been predestined before the beginning of time. You think that the man is easy? And that philosophy them work out fine. Huh? Them say your feet predestined before the beginning of time. So no matter where you do it in life, no matter what you do in life, when Jesus come, you are going to hell or you are going to heaven. And no matter how good you live, if you did predestined as a bad man, you are going to hell. No matter how bad you is, if you did predestined as a good man, you're going to heaven. So you can't do nothing for save yourself. So all them little baptismal thing, where, where, where Jamaican people are rushed to be baptized, because one little guy in a California say, tell you to say the world like an end. And everybody get jumpy and fearful and the street them look like holiday. May I tell you, man, when you go up on the street, no, hey, I'm going at Jamaica public service. May I tell you, say, of all the time I go on Rutven Road, Jamaica public service. When I go in at Jamaica public service, I am surprised. Only about two people there, they appear them light bill and appear workers inside there. And when we ask the woman, where the people them? We say, why the people them? So them now nah, come out and we call judgment there the next day. <laughs> we say, wait, what is this? I would like that if them say judgment there every day when we have to pay all certain government bills because it's easier. Nobody know how to go out. It's what kind of madness this thing of the people them in now. It's what kind of craziness this. Oh, black people, we are come from Africa, where they believe in a for them things. Make white people come tell them, say, where them believe in a, 
a madness. <laughs> I give them an alternative. Oh, we did believe in a, the sanctity of life in all its forms. We believe in a, the tree, the birds, the flowers, the bees, human being, and the life. That even if you kill something, you still give homage and respect to the life in that something. Oh, we did believe them things in Africa. And we make some people come. Come wipe out that out of our thinking. And put something else in our thinking. Make it more believable. When we realize, say, nothing not goes so. So we give up for African something. And live in a disillusion. And big, respectable, so-called intelligent. Because the man who come up with it is an engineering scientist who can do maths, who are read the Bible for 70 years. So I'm not going to say, I'm an idiot. But yet still, I'm in an illusion. And I'm carry a whole heap of people in the illusion. Just like how the man who write that in the Bible carry the whole Western world in an illusion. Just like how them tell you about Christmas and it's an illusion. And Easter is an illusion. And rabbits are lay egg is an illusion. And black people delude themselves in a European concepts. And we have a day like this now named African Liberation Day. And most people would have never reflect on liberation. African liberation. Africans need to liberate themselves. Africans need to liberate themselves. We must be able to define our space on earth using our logics. And we must not continuously use European logics and identity to define ourselves. When we realize that uh, European logics and identity is not making the world be a better place for human beings to exist and in peace, justice and in love. Because when we look at the illusion with black people in her, and them, when, when we listen to all man the last week from St. Thomas, and we are said, brethren, this week me I talk about it and some people, me and some people are talk about it and me I say, the illusion is so deep that a man see intelligence in a saying that a man went come in at the sky, in at the cloud, with a whole heap of people around him, and a blow a trumpet, and in literally, I see that in him, I shall be holy him at one time. In literally, I see that. And Muta Baruka chew your nasty with no spiritual eye, why you say them things there, can't go so. You think you could have tell a man, they say, or uh, even the man with the Pan Ian Bowen program, before, like Friday, even Saturday morning, because 6 o'clock, 6 p.m., them say it's going happen. You think so you could have tell a man so that it's not going to happen? The thousands of people who give them place when them children was embarrassed. The amount of reports will come out of America about this thing, where people give them house. As a matter of fact, a man actually opened a business half a fight by saying he will fight buy. by saying he will buy all the things them that these people say them don't want again like them house them car them fridge them this and this and that and the people them leave them things and say them gone on the road for go preach the gospel that you must repent now because maybe maybe god will listen to you at 6 p.m. Saturday. Maybe. So, you have whole heap of people now who don't have nothing. Because, them get away, them sell it. Them don't have no job, them left them job. Last week I was telling you about the people where they going at the church by Mountain View Avenue with this person, left them good, good job. And I talk about Jesus, I, got, I mean, Jamaica got flood. Watch your man. When Jamaica flood, you don't have no time for going out of church, go sit down, you know. I wanted to know that, you know. When Jamaica 
going to flood out. When, hey, you think say the people them in a Haiti they know say, a earthquake like that, I go lick them. Maybe somebody out there will know it, didn't know it, you know. Maybe a man do that too, you know. People might have a lot of things that can't happen, you know. Maybe a man out there, some little evil mind who create certain things to, to disturb the atmosphere. Them germs and them chemical warfare with them have to disturb the whole equilibrium of the earth. Maybe at them I'll do it to just like how them now realize. And it is proved now that the United Nations did. 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 When you when hear the Asian, them say, is the United Nations bring the cholera come to Haiti? People are saying, well, them people, they get them foolish say, from me about the United Nations carry cholera to Haiti. And guess what? A true. It's true. It's in the news. Big, big. Sometimes when I talk some things on this program, people will tell me I make it up and then two weeks, four weeks down the line, them see it. Big, big pan the news. The United Nations admit lack of care because it's Asian people. They never take certain precautions in Haiti. So the spread of cholera was caused. And the Asian people, they were saying that all along. All along, they were saying it. So my brethren and my sister, on this African Liberation Day before it is 12 o'clock, because we still have a few little time before it's 12 o'clock, so we can't really deal with African Liberation. The Liberation comes from cleaning out your brains. Don't make nobody wash your brains, because your brains never get dirty. But you see, them are wash your brains like how people have bleached them skin. Cause your skin black and it's not ugly. But you have people who bleach them skin because them feel said ugly. Well, that's the same thing with your brains. Them brainwash you. And them brainwash you to the point where you actually don't believe say your brainwash. Because you are moving to a drummer. And you are dancing to a drummer that you don't even know the drummer and the music don't even nice need either, but because you are brainwashed, all the truth sound like lie and the lie become true. We are living in a Western world that make us believe that lies are truth and truths are lie. And the man write that in our book. And in the last part of the book, you know, the last verse in the book, you know, hear what the book say. Any man we add or subtract from this book, all of the pig them in the book are going to come you know. I guess what? Enough things them add and subtract, you know. And no plague never come for them, you know. Because for hundreds of years, them are add and subtract. As a matter of fact, the National Geographic is doing a whole magazine. For those of you who know National Geography, this magazine is doing a whole feature on the Bible. I think them say it's 400 years. I tend to be correct. It's either 300 or 400 years of the King James Bible, which is really serious thing now because it's four... I mean, could say it's 400 years, but as I said before, I stand to be corrected. Maybe it's 300 years, but... They must celebrate the hundreds of years, the hundreds of years that the King James Bible has been here. And the man them, of all the little islands that them choose to come, them come at Jamaica. Them come to Jamaica. We had a meeting with them. Because they do this whole feature upon the Bible and what the Bible means to people all over the world. And them hear of these people named Rasta, who is embedded in the the Judeo Christian or the the, the 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 Hebrew part of the Bible, even more than the new part of the Bible. But the situation is like this. It's many things that have been changed. 
and revised in the Bible. Yet still, in the last part of the Bible, it says, any man will add or take away from the book. All of the plague them in the book are going to come upon him. <laughs> that is fear, you know. And black people, black people, when you hear the vox pop them, upon the radio and upon the television, and you see the people them, you know, most of them, if, if them interview 10 people, Nine of them say, the man who said the world ago end is a madman because the Bible say, <laughs> they go back to the Bible, they might use the Bible to validate the Bible. The Bible say, no man know the hour of the Lord, not even him son know. And that is where, that is where comfort a whole heap of Christian, you know. It comfort a whole heap of Christian to say that this man I know where I say because no man know the hour of the Lord. Not evil. Him son, Jesus, know the hour of the God of Lord. But guess what now? Me, I come to tell those people say, Uno in a illusion, just like the man. Uno in a illusion, just like the man. Because the majority of people in the world don't believe that there is a man that is going to come back and save the world. The majority of the, the people in the world don't believe it. And I don't, I don't want to say that because the majority don't believe it, it means it's wrong. What I say is that it would appear to you that most people believe that. But guess what? The man who write it, I may repeat that continuously, the man who write it did believe, say, the man will come back in a him time. And if you really be truthful to yourself and go back and read it or ask your person which part Muta Baruka talk about when him say the people them who did in at that time did believe say the man will come back and save them from the Roman Empire, save them from the colonialism of Rome and the Greek or Roman influence that was infiltrating their Hebrew religion and culture, just like how we here as Rasta is saying that we have been infiltrated by the European culture and we need to go back to the culture. So we try to use culture as an expression of what we call resistance to the point where we see God in our own image, literally. Are we look like the mad people them, you know? A Rasta look like the mad people them in a Jamaica. Because we looking for a man, make him into a god. And it's most mad you're mad for say that. And then you have some people say, But more time I say a god dead. I want to worship this dead man. Imagine a man dead 2,000 years ago. And gone up in the sky and left, you know. And you know, still believe, say, I'm going to come back again. Then that no illusion. But you can't see it as an illusion. Because your brains have been washed. And it has been washed. All your Africanness has been washed away. All possibility of returning to your ancestral mindset has been washed away by Europeanization of your culture, your food habit, your clothes habit, your sexual habit. All habits that we came with was taken from us between the coast of Ghana and runaway beer and discovery beer. And then, when we reach out, we get even more washed over and over again. And this is where we is now. That politicians and preachers who govern the people. And when we look at the people condition today, who can truly say that humanity 
with all its glamour and its glitter, with all its science and technology, with all the trappings of westernization, who can truly say that love for Mother Earth, Mother Nature, and human beings have increased. So, we give thanks for science and technology. But black people in their liberation struggle for African liberation must search in the depths of them DNA in the ancestral memory bank and find them existence void of European logics because European logics for thousands of years have defined the world and we see the world is sinking more and more into the abyss Black people, wake up. This is the cutting edge 